Hello guys, she's back with a new video again. I have a very exciting video for you today because I have a book haul. I know you'll love that. My friend is currently shopping for me. <laughs> I did quite a bit of damage to my bank account. These books I bought in two days. I wish I was joking. I'm not. Do I feel guilty? A bit. <laughs> but it makes me happy so maybe I could, do you know what, I can like add three books that I bought recently but you might have seen it in my vlogs because I already read them, might have seen them also in my wrap up but I bought them recently and so I'm just, I just want to talk about all the books that I bought recently. These are all the books so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 books. All the books. It's a lot. I'm gonna talk first about the books that you've already seen and know my review of if you've watched my March wrap up. But first two books that come together, it's the first two books in the Eden's series, so Indigo Ridge and Juniper Hill by Daphne Perry. Um, these are just like two small town romances. This one is kind of like a mystery romance with like one night stand trope. And this one is just really romance and it is single mom, grumpy, is it age gap? I think there's a little age gap, maybe like 10 years. I already read these two books, if you're interested in knowing what I thought about them, then just watch my March video wrap up. I keep hearing a lot about these books and I'm really excited by the two others, which are Garnet Full and Jesperville, something like that. Then I bought uh, three books from the same author. Um, first book that I bought from this author is The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. So this I kept on seeing it everywhere, like everywhere. And I was so curious because I saw a lot of people saying that it was like so similar to Sarah Jemel's writing, which Sarah Jemel's is one of my favorite authors ever. So obviously I was really drawn into this. And this is about like vampires and there are trials and it's like enemies to lovers, but they have to lie. And I just love this trope, like enemies to lovers, but they have to lie. Yes. The vampires, they have wings. <laughs> you know, a lot of fat boys. Um, so of course had to read this same it's on my it's in my march wrap up video so if you want to check that out but a little spoiler alert it has become one of my favorite big of all time and so i absolutely had to buy all the books from the same author first one being six scorched roses and this is the little novella of this book uh you have to read this after and then there is like the ash and the Cursed King or whatever is the name of the other book. And this is about Lilith and Vale and basically Lilith's town has a god cursed illness spreading around and so she wants to stop this and to do this she um, strikes a bargain with a vampire Vale and basically she exchanges six roses for six vials of vampire blood to save the town and it's like really centered around the romance so I expect it to be like really fast so I don't I don't really mind you just have to change your expectations you know like if you love a slow burn just know that this if this is a slow burn it's, it's just going to take like 50 pages because it's not even 200 pages long so yeah I'm really excited to read this I had to buy the book like I know this is ridiculous because it's a little novella but I could give her all of my money now she deserves it. And so then, of course, I had to buy the other series that she came up with and that is now finished. Um, and that is The Daughter of No Worlds. And this is the first book in the War of Lost Hearts uh, series. So I, guys, I'm so excited for this book. I, same as The Serpent and the Wings of Night, I think that now that people have read this book, they're all reading this one. And I'm doing the same because why not? Um, but honestly, if you if you read the first one, you're gonna want to read all of her books because her writing is just phenomenal, and the I don't know like the way she writes her romances is just 
so good and be aware this is a fantasy book so it's not centered around the ramens the ramens just happens around the plot but um just like throne of glass or i feel like a core of thorns and roses maybe like a core of wings and rune so this is the same apparently the guy he's a garden retriever so i'm really excited to see, to see this because i usually don't really like this type of character but it's Carissa Brockman so I definitely trust her and I'm just so so excited to read this I have no idea what it talks about oh well Tisana was a slave so definitely Throne of Glass vibes forced to flee she has only one chance at saving those she left behind pledging herself to the orders an organization of magic builders strong enough to destroy her former masters to earn her place Tisana is forced into an apprenticeship with Max Maxentarius Barlione for Yoni, I don't know who to say this, a handsome and reclusive fire wielder who despises the Orders. He has no interest in helping her, but as the Orders grip times around them both, his bloody past may be the key to her future or the downfall. Sounds really interesting. I'm just so excited with this. Honestly, this open Wings of Night has brought me back into a fantasy mood. Just like when I first read A Call of Thrones and Roses, you know, it has the same vibe, guys. It's just amazing and so then i was like oh, i'm in a fantasy mood so do you know what i'm going to buy this woven kingdom by terry Murphy. now you're going to tell me julie it's just here <laughs> why did you do this guys this is the only regret edition of the book as you can see it is stunning i don't want to ruin it and i know deep down that i'm going to want to annotate this book I also did not buy the second book in the Illumic Crate edition, so I was like, my book is not going to match. So I was like, I'm just going to buy the paperback so I can annotate it, bring it around with me, not be scared for it to be damaged. I'm very happy about this choice because I also love this edition of the book. I don't know what it talks about. It's been a year since I have this. I still don't know what it talks about. And I've read the, the synopsis so many times to you guys. You, like... This is ridiculous the amount of time I read a synopsis and don't understand a single thing of what I'm reading. I'm just like reading and that's it. <laughs> this is the same. I think basically the girl is a lost hair of the crown but she's like undercover as a servant and she goes um, into like the palace and there is the crown prince Cameron and he I think he realizes it's her. I'm just really excited to read this. And then let's keep on going with the uh, fantasy and then back into romance. But then I bought a book that I saw a surprise. It is Born Island by Nicole Fiorina. The first book is here. First book was Hello Heathens. And guys, let me tell you that the size is not the same. <laughs> she doubled the size. I think this one was like 500 pages long. 600. No, 500. Yeah. 500 pages, almost 700. <laughs> what happened, Nicole? Do you want me to die? Because that's what's going to happen, you know. I died this with this. This, I know I'm going to die because people keep on posting stories crying. And I'm like, what is happening here? <laughs> what's this? So if you haven't read uh, Hello Heathens, you have to read Hello Heathens too. Do you really have to? I don't know. It's fantasy romance. Um, it's a romance, let's be honest. Uh, so this is this series is called Tales of Weaving Hollow, and basically they are like the heathens. They are cursed, and they have a mask on their faces, and they're just cursed, you know. And in the first book, there's a love story with one. And this is the love story with another one. <laughs> Just how, how do I say this without spoiling? I don't know. I'm really excited to read this. It is fucking huge. And guys, the writing, like the words are so small. <laughs> it's going to take me a year to read this book. I feel like maybe actually it's just going to take me a week I think. Okay, and then we only have romance left and the first book being Par Powerless by Elsie Silver. This is the third book in the Chestnut Spring series. Uh, first book being Flawless, second Hurtless and now Powerless. And this is about Jesper and Sloane and Jesper and Sloane are childhood friends and Sloane 
always had a crush on Jesper when she was younger. Sorry, my friend called me. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Sloane, I think I was telling you that Sloane had a crush on um, Jesper for most of her childhood. And she still is obsessed with him. I mean, not obsessed with him. She still has this crush on him, but she's trying to move on. And so she is marrying someone. And this is how the book starts. I must be honest, I already read it. But you will see what I thought of this book in my April wrap up. Also, Jesper is a hockey player. And it really works with the other book. Because the next book that I bought is Mile High by least home forth and so this is a hockey romance uh basically uh he's a hockey player and she is a new flight the new flight attendant to the uh hockey team's private jet and apparently this is enemies to lovers i think uh, i don't really know and i'm really excited to read this because i've heard a lot of good things i've heard more good things about the second book which is called right move um but i wanted to read the first book still first because i'm a good reader and I follow the rules. <laughs> I bought Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. Finally bought this book. Uh, it's about Nash and Lena and I just can't remember who Lena is. I can't remember who she is. I know that Nash is Nox's brother. Was, his, was he called Nox? Yeah, Nox's brother. Uh, and Lena, she was, I think, if I remember, she was in Things We Never Got Over, but I just don't really remember <laughs> this book. But yeah, uh, honestly, I didn't really enjoy Things We Never Got Over as much as people raved about on the socials. Like, it was fine. I just thought it was too long. I still think this is going to be a bit too long, but I know what to expect now uh, from Lucy Scorer. I know that she... She writes a cute romance, but it's always way too long. And, ugh. But it's fine, it's fine. I just wanted to read this because I really liked Nash. And I really want to go on in this series. Because uh, I want to read like the next book. I can't remember who it's on, but I do remember being like, Oh my god, this is going to be my favourite. And I can't remember, but yeah. Things we hide from the light. So I think it's Enrich Lovers. Oh my god, okay, wait, they are friends? But when Nash discovers Lena's secret, these friends become furious enemies. Though the sparks lying between them don't know the difference between love and hate. Okay, now I'm really intrigued by this. Friends to enemies to lovers. Yeah. And last book, but not list, is the Seasonal Book Club pick of the month of April. That is The Simple Wives by Kay Tucker. It is a small town romance happening in Alaska. And she is a city girl and she arrives in this little town in Alaska because her father is dying but she doesn't really have any relationship with him but he's dying so she goes there and she meets with the guy who is taking care of his of, like her dad's planes and he hates her and he really wants her to leave but she wants to prove him wrong and so here is a little small town and Mr. Lover is Rick I guess. Uh, I'm really excited to read this. It's very short, but I think it's going to be really cute. And I love small town romances, now you know that. <laughs> I'm obsessed, okay? I'm obsessed. I can't hold it. Here are all the books. <laughs> this is ridiculous, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked this little book haul. I know that you usually really appreciate a book haul. I always love to watch a book haul, to be honest. So what is the last book that you vote i want to know and well i hope that you guys liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos and i will see you guys very soon in another one and until then take care bye lovelies